Welcome to my vlog. This is a bi-weekly-ish vlog about how I have uh, uprooted my life in America to come to Thailand. I grew up not knowing much about Thailand, so I'm here to learn Thai uh, for a year as well as learn about Thai culture and Thai history. So I hope you'll stick around. Please like and subscribe and uh, on to the episode. So uh, I start my language class in about a week. Um, I am taking conversational Thai and I uh, will be taking class Monday and Wednesday for two hours for 10 weeks. Uh, I'll do an update when I have a few classes under my belt. I've already uh, started to shift my expectation for learning Thai um, since I've been here and reminding myself and with the help of friends that uh, I'm not going to be fluent in a year. That's just not realistic. Even after like many, many classes, I still won't be able to have like intelligent or deep conversations about politics or art or music and things like that. I, I will still only be able to say basic elementary school level things. So it's like what what is the goal at the end of the day? Because it definitely isn't to be fluent because I just can't, it's not reasonable uh, in a year. And maybe my new goal is just be able to say enough or speak enough Thai that I can go shopping or ask for directions uh, and then maybe be able to read enough Thai that I know what, you know, what traffic signs say or something or what menus say or something like that. Um, uh, I actually don't have too much to share right now. Today is Makabuka Day, which I'm probably saying wrong. Uh, it's a Thai holiday here, so school is closed. Uh, but I actually asked um, a few people what holiday was and no one could really tell me without Googling. So I did Google and it's Makabuka and it's celebrated in Thailand and Laos and Cambodia and Sri Lanka and maybe some other countries. Um, the story seems to be uh, that uh, 1,200 monks on this day uh, decided to go see the Buddha and they didn't get an invite, there was no tweet, uh, might have been word of mouth, but it was like they were like summoned without being summoned, like something called them to the Buddha. Um, so that's uh, what they're celebrating. I think there's also something about a full moon today that we're supposed to be celebrating, but I looked it up and the full moon is actually supposed to be tomorrow night. So I think it's not a full moon tonight. Uh, so I'm curious if the celebration goes on beyond today and goes into tomorrow. I went to the local temple earlier today and uh, you know, we, we made some offering. We, uh, my mom recited a chant cause it was in Thai. Um, wish for good vibes. Uh, put a gold flake on a statue and drew a fortune. That seems to be like the common thread of a lot of Thai holidays. It's like you go to temple, wish for good vibes, say some chants, donate some money. Sometimes you put a flake on a statue. Sometimes you get some water on you or put some water on a statue uh, and you draw a fortune. Uh, sometimes you're walking around the temple, you know, a couple times. Um, yeah, it seems to be very similar. So uh, this one was no different. Uh, if you know much about this holiday, please tell me in the comments and I apologize for getting all the facts wrong. Anyway, so we drew a fortune. I um, So there's a cup full of sticks at the temples. Uh, you shake it until one falls to the ground. Um, the one uh, that fell to the ground for me said, Okay, so I pulled uh, my fortune off the wall. It does have a number on it. Um, these are supposed to be lucky numbers that I think is for like playing the lotto. Uh, so my lucky numbers are five and three. Um, and it has it in Thai and English and Chinese. Uh, so it says in English, you'll succeed in anything you do, especially commercial. If you're expecting a baby, you will surely have a son. If you're seeking a spouse, you'll meet the right one. Are these supposed to rhyme? Uh, you'll find the lost treasure you're looking for as well as great fortune. 
For you who are sick will get well and healthy. As for other things and debts, all is good. Whoever casts his number will live a happy life every night and every day. Uh, so this is a very, very good fortune. I thought they were all going to be good because th that reading, that fortune was pretty good. Uh, but then I read my mom's and it said something like, It's just like your luck lies on the opposite side of the river. If you could endure through hardships of building a bridge, happiness is at the other, at the other end will be yours. <laughs> but I mean, it opens up with, it's just like your luck lies on the opposite side of the river. Uh, and then my friend also went to the temple the other day and uh, their reading said, okay, and I can't find the one that uh, my friend uh, got from the temple that they went to, but it was something along the lines of, um, like you're partying with a loved one and it's gonna be a long time before you return to them or reunited with them and not to be a leader and also a baby is coming though, uh, a baby son. So there's some common themes, but I think I really got the best fortune that they got up there. I don't know, maybe uh, since my last video, my luck is really turning around. So I feel like I should do something big soon. <laughs> Anyways, I went back to the temple tonight um, and uh, it was more like a local fair. Uh, there was like um, a trampoline, there was loud techno music, uh, there was carnival games, like throw the darts and hit a balloon or like a shooting game to knock the thing off the thing. Um, you could feed like bunnies and goats and piglets. Um, and then there was of course a lot of food. Everything in Thailand involves food. There's always lots and lots of street food, meats on sticks, all that. Um, so we got a couple noodles. What else? Uh, you're also not supposed to drink today, though I did see a vendor uh, that was selling um, beer, so I don't really know the rules. Uh, they're playing very loud music. Um, it's 11.30 right now, and they're still playing very loud music, so I have no idea if it's ever gonna stop. Uh, and it's always the same beats. <laughs> uh, what else? That's really it, I don't have much of an update. Just wanted to post a short video because it's been a while and I will post something uh, after I take some language classes. Alright y'all, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.